Hello, it's May Pauline. I haven't done one of these in ages. I'm going to voice over my body paint. This is a body paint that I did over on Twitch, so if you want to see the full thing, check out my Twitch channel. Link is in the description if you guys want to see it. If you see me talking, it's because I'm talking in a uh, chat. Basically, I'm using Mayron um, Paradise Paints and Made You Look Buddy Paints to create this look. I kind of mapped this out beforehand of the pattern of the waffle. I'm just kind of starting out with the the kind of the raised edges of a waffle. Dude, while I was doing this white paint, I was so hungry the entire time. I was just thinking about making waffles. Cause I mean, I was looking at a waffle for like three hours. Well, not three hours. Two and a half. This white paint took me approximately two and a half. A little less than that. But this is, this is sped up quite a bit, so you'll you'll see everything kind of go back and forth. But yeah, I'm just doing the raised edges here to begin with, of where kind of like the outside edge of the waffles are. And if you are wondering why I'm like missing gaps, it's because that's where like fruit or whipped cream is going to go from the plans of it. But yeah, I'm just kind of taking this lightish brown and kind of going around. And then I'm going to be taking bone tone on top of that to kind of give it some highlights and just kind of break up that a little bit because waffles don't cook like perfectly where it's like all like completely one color like it's kind of got some variations to it but I'm, oh, I'm just taking some Yeti from me look to do the whipped cream spots I don't actually eat my waffles like this I I pretty much just have uh, butter and maple syrup on my waffles. I don't really put fruit. I don't put bar sugar. I don't put whipped cream on them. But when I was going about what I was going to do for this look, I was like, we we gotta have like fruits and bar sugar and all this other stuff they never do on my waffles. <laughs> Cause I thought it would look more interesting. <laughs> But um, now I'm going back in. It's the same color. I don't know why it looks so much lighter. This Mayron paint. I don't know if it's because like I now have some bone tone on my paintbrush or what is going on. But it's the same color, but it does not dry the same color. I don't know why. I literally have no idea. But I'm just going like in sections so I don't kind of lose it. Because in my head it was going to dry a lot faster than that. And I didn't want it to like dry completely. So I would lose those shapes. Um, and then I'm just taking some NYX Professional um, Makeup Eyeshadows. I pretty much always use NYX uh, Eyeshadows. There was a post on my blog, which is also in my description, um, kind of where I went over which paints that I commonly use when I'm body painting. So if you want to know what like specific products I'm doing, it's going to be in that post. Because honestly, I just use those same like four palettes. And that's it. Um, I don't have them next to me, which is why I can't really say what it is, because I can't think of what it is. But I'm just going in and deepening up those, like, the squares of the waffle, kind of giving them some depth. Actually, a lot of depth. They wouldn't really have this much depth, but I think it kind of helps it stand out. Especially because over time, the by the time it gets around to this part, this kind of fades quite a bit, especially in the pictures. And I'm not worrying too much about it being perfect right now and perfectly blended because I do have a plan of going back in with some other shades on top of that. Um, I'm just right now basically just breaking up those squares so I don't lose them and giving some depth of where the fruits are. So if I know there's going to be a fruit, I'm putting the depth in now because that way I'm not worrying about that over top of it. I was going to originally use oak which is from Made You Look, but I used um, uh, Mayron paints for this brown just because it was lighter. And also it covers my hummingbird tattoo a little bit more completely than the Made You Look by paints. I do notice that when I'm doing the Made You Look by paints, I have to go back, I have to go back over it like five or six times or do a bunch of concealer and other paints to kind of make it stand out. Or not stand out, make the, the hummingbirds kind of blend in. So I generally try around the, the hummingbirds, which I love. Don't get me wrong, I love my hummingbirds. I try to I, I try to hide them with the bi paints because they don't they don't they don't fit <laughs> per se. So I try to use the Mayron paints around the hummingbirds specifically because like they cover it like 
so nicely that you don't notice them and I don't have to like go over and like do a bunch of concealing work or like color corrections to make them disappear. They just, they just disappear. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going through and deepening up all the shades. Oh, oh, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna keep rambling because I feel like I'm in the rambling mood and I would done all these in ages. <laughs> Recently, I've been like trying to just do these like, speed up versions of like the stream paints to put on the on YouTube's so that way, like, if you, if you can't get the whole stream, you only have to watch like 15 minutes and you'll see the whole process. Um, but I've just been doing like music in the background, but I thought I would start actually doing like voiceovers for them so. Apologies if I am overly rambling. I haven't done one of these ages. But in the comments, let me know which breakfast food is your favorite or how you eat your waffles. Like, what do you put on them? Do you do fruits? Do you do a cream? Do you do powdered sugar? Are you butter and maple syrup kind of gal or guy or, or person or whatever? However you identify you're selfish. If you're an alien, if you're... <laughs> if you have waffles, I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> also, um, you let me know in the comments um, what you like to see in the future for like body paints or videos on the channel. I might start um, filming videos outside of Twitch streams to come up. I do stream like four times a week over on Twitch and then host a movie night in my Discord every week. Right now we've been watching Studio Ghibli. Um, so if you're not on the Discord, join the Discord, but I'm kind of always doing something, but I'm just wondering if you guys would like, um, like specifically like additional videos outside of Twitch streams and Twitch kind of highlights. Um, now I'm going in and kind of just putting in a red to mark out where my strawberries are. And I'm using, um, the Mayron paints, you can see that. And I'm kind of just going in with, there's kind of like this corally color that was in the same palette the red came from so i was using that on top kind of just to give some separation and now i'm using yeti again to um do some of the detailing and then i'm going in with sunflower from major look to do the seeds i don't know are, are the watermelon not watermelon i'm not painting with watermelon i'm painting with strawberries not with strawberries i'm painting strawberries <laughs> there are no edits here. <laughs> I'm putting are are the seeds of strawberries yellow? I have no idea. But now I'm doing blueberries. I'm just using blue from that same um Miron palette to do the blueberries. I'm gonna be doing these on my um face as well, but I'll see those later. And now I'm doing the banana. I'm using a mixture of sunflower and bone tone from Major Look to create these bananas basically just the backing of the banana and then I'm taking bone tone on top of them to give them some depth and well not depth highlights because bananas aren't yeah I mean the outside of the banana is like bright yellow but like the inside's not so I'm using bone tone to kind of break up that that darker color and make it look more banana banana is that a word it's not a word we're gonna go with it anyways but um <laughs> Yeah, then I'm just taking some blue eyeshadow and giving some depth to my blueberries. And you'll kind of see, I don't really, I'm not really following like a specific light source with these. It's more kind of where I know I'm going to be having the, um, the center of the blueberry. It's kind of more warmed in depth. That's not really how blueberries work, but that's kind of how I did it. So if you're wondering what the hell the shadows are doing, that's why. And I'm seeing this kind of lightish blue um, eyeliner to kind of start giving the shine to the blueberries. And then I'm taking white to just further highlight those blueberries and really make them look shiny. Cause blues are very shiny, like very shiny. And then I'm gonna eventually take um, a black liquid liner and kind of just make this kind of like circular pattern. I'm kind of like doing it kind of like spacey and sketchy so it kind of is not like just a solid black. And then I'm going in and I think I'm, yeah, I'm highlight, I'm, I'm getting some shadows to my strawberries next, kind of giving them some more life and texture. 
and then I'm taking the white, which is a um, NYX Professional Makeup Liquid Liner to just further define the the um, strawberries and the bananas. Because I didn't think the bananas stood out enough with just the bone tone top. I thought it kind of needed some additional white in a lot of places. And then just kind of tapping out it a little bit with my fingers just to kind of give it a little bit more texture in a way. And then you'll see I'm going back over at the that. And then I'm going to do the whipped cream. I'm just kind of giving some depth, some shadows of where the swirls are. And then I'm going to be taking that same white that I used before to put a highlight on them and really make them stand out. Um, that they're kind of whipped cream little dollops per se. Uh, I think on a few edges I did like white as well and I just kind of tapped out the edges on those just to kind of make them kind of blend a little bit more just kind of where they kind of blend a little bit too much in with um white and then I'm just taking a big paintbrush and some white and splattering that I did it it kind of got a little bit too clustered in some spots so I went back in with the brown that I originally used to like in all the centers just to kind of hide that and kind of make it look more powder sugary and not so much a giant paint swab <laughs> I'm going to put on some foundation and some concealer, then some little light blush and whatnot, all the lovely stuff. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a massive like user of liquid blushes, but I've been trying to get more into it. I don't think I do it right. Like, I, it's not bad, it's just not, it's not my, it's not my vibe. I'm so used to powder blushes and so I'm still getting used to it, but it, it turned out nice. And then, I'm, as I said, I was going to put um, some of the fruits on my face just to kind of blend it in more. So I'm doing kind of the mixture of a few strawberries, more blueberries, and then just a, like an equal amount of bananas to the strawberries using the same paints I used before. And then kind of just doing the same pattern that I did previously on them. I really like how these turned out. I kind of, if I was to do it again, I'd probably do some more on the other side of my face or kind of pull them a little bit more towards the center or like have them across like from like my cheekbone over my nose to my other cheekbone. But I do really like them regardless. And then I did some white freckles and then just like a kind of a pinky yellow, like a, not pinky yellow, pinky red lipstick. And then I kind of used the same browns that I used on for the waffle on my eyes just to like make it like have all the colors from like on my chest area onto my face. But yeah, as I said, if I would do this again, I'd put the. I put the, f the fruit from cheekbone to cheekbone, like across my nose, versus doing them down one side of my face. And that's purely just because in the pictures, um, it's kind of hard to do that one side without like turning completely to the camera. And it was like hiding things. So yeah, and I'm just putting on my favorite, favorite lashes, which are from, um, Arienzo Cosmetics. I have a link to those down below. And then putting on my favorite wig. And then just doing like a quick a quick bandana to put pull a little bit more blue in from the blueberries. Just to kind of, you know, pull that color in a little bit more because we definitely I definitely really like, I love how this look came out, but as I said, I would make a change to how I do the, flu fr the flutes. The fruits on my face if I was to do it all over again. But I do, I do really like this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the voiceover. Uh, if you're not following or subscribed, do the youtube -y things like comment, subscribe. I can't talk now, but I appreciate you. I love you. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Okay, bye!